well this is different everyone today we are um, at a place that does like little taxi boxes we've never been here before like never been one of these so we're actually getting one of a crate like that yeah so that'll be interesting a different way of doing our lockers anyway we hope you enjoy this one and can't wait to see what we find this one was actually just a um one we bid on we usually wait and if we see something that we actually like in the locker and we know we can sell then we will buy it but this one we just sort of did it for a bit of fun you know we thought well, what if we'll see what's in there and now we actually have a company that we deal with to donate everything we don't want to buy so they might end up with the whole thing or we might find some treasures anyway we will show you once we open the box Okay, so this is our locker. We've got to go get the key and we'll open it for you. Alright, so there it is in all its glory. Oh, that's cute. That lantern up there. Lots of bits and pieces. That, that's the one. That's gorgeous. Oh, don't break it. So yeah, this is one, like we said, we've just... Um, bought it. We don't really know what's in it, but I love this light straight away. That's great. That's cool. Wrap that up. Definitely. Yes, there's like a little doll's house here. Oh, yes. There's a big bookshelf, John. Awesome. That's going to the market. I've been whinging I need a bookshelf. Can you bypass the kitchen one? Yes, I think so. But yeah, we might even just sort of pull it all out and show you as we go, but we have to just sort of load it into the truck as we go. Okay, I found a bag. Give my film and see what's in it. Books, probably. Oh. What are they? Toys, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, they seem to be. Toys and personal car stuff. Little car engines. Are they? Marbles. Seems to be a good day. I can't see it. Oh wow, they are too. Little car engines. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh wow, it's all little car parts, maybe. It's for model cars. Oh, what's that? Oh wow, look at that. It's like an old set. Yeah. <laughs> So I think this person might have been into models, which could be good. Might find a few Lots of model CDs cars. And DVDs. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so, cute. Is that like a Mustang? I'm thinking Pontiac, but I can't tell. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. No, no, Chevy. It's, Chevelle. They've they've made it probably. That's Still why there's all those wheels. cars. Excellent. That's beautiful. Very good condition. Mm. Oh, there's another and one. There's another one. Cool. Wow. Holden Commodore. Huh? That looks like my dad's car. <laughs> Not quite as fancy. All right. Then back All in. right. That was a good one. So this one's got a few bits. It just looks like all stuff from the kitchen. Tea light handles bags with Tupperware, Lego. <laughs> and what do we got here? Knife block and bits and pieces, nothing exciting. It's all covered in poo, which is like mouse poo, which is a bit of a... Alright, I'll get this one out. Check out what's in this box. Oh, oh, books, handbags, makeup. Colette. And looks like just bathroom bits and pieces, but like I always say, you know, make sure you go through the bathroom stuff because often jewelry and things get found in it. A oh, little Thailand purse, I'm not sure. 
But anyway, I'll go through this more at home because we're sort of going to get out of here as well. Uh, a few bits and pieces. Looks like there could be some a little makeup bag in there. A couple of little purses actually. Lots of pencil case. Anyway. Another box done. in there we've got the first part of it out we've still got quite a bit to go though uh, what else have we got in here there's the other basket for that cupboard that looks like a nice fridge down the back there loving this um, book case that's awesome but yeah we'll get it all out so you can have a better look it's a bit hard to see anything when it's all like this Dewalt which I love they're my people sure what that is it looks like a camping bag of some sort all right everyone i've just got excited i just found this one in a box brand new how cool is that car i drove that <laughs> so these chairs as well they're so cute just like timber they're a bit grotty but i can do them up easily and what do we got in this box this was the same box i just found the car in Spray guns, another one. Uh, another box that I might investigate before I'll show you guys. In case it's got naughty things in it. <laughs> we have found that before. Oh no, just shells and crystals. Oh, cute. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Could be a fossil. Looks like a video. DVD. God, I'm old. <laughs> John's back at it. Anything good? No, this has been a great locker, though. That attached to that for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. Already heavy. Oh, look, is it a hammock? No? Maybe. I'll come out here while you hold it up. <laughs> oh, it is. It's a hammock. Oh, how cool. <laughs> Someone with a nice patio might want that. Lovely, and it's even got the attachments for the roof. <laughs> All right, so we've now got this one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, here we go. This one. Pokemon. Oh, look at this. Pokemon cards. I wonder what the first one is, because that's the one that's worth a lot of money. So we'll have to check that, because they look quite old. I wonder what year they are. I think it was like 1985, the first one, something like that. Anyway, I'm probably way off, but what else have we got in here? We've got books, DVDs, it's just some toys. Oh, DS games. Oh, oh. Adventure Time DS. Uh, DVDs. So that's good. There's another Pokemon book here. There, sorry. <laughs> This is fun. Brian is a very smelly bear, but he doesn't seem to care. <laughs> How cute. Good on you, Brian. <laughs> anyway, so that was a good little box too. Here we go. We've got the men's aftershaves and whatnot. I've got this Calvin Klein one. I'll check that out. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. It's like one of the ones you buy when you're on um, the plane. The airplane. Yeah, the samples. That's a cute little basket. We looked inside this one. No, looks like it's all shell bits and pieces. So we won't go through that just now. We'll wait till we actually get home so we can show you a bit better. That hutch is really nice, except some little kids vandalized it. <laughs> Yep, yeah, that would be maybe a three-year-old, perhaps. <laughs> Gone through those days, especially with the roof of the car. <laughs> Remember that one? I, I think do. it was oh, the, yeah, Chloe. It's a cute little thingo. 
What's this? Oh. Oh. Yuck, is that a dead mouse? <laughs> it is. Oh, oh. Yuck. What else have we got in here? We've got a little telescope. box oh cash box with nothing in it but rubbish <laughs> uh, nice frames that's pretty cool and uh, it looks like the rest of it might be just personal bits and pieces apart from that I'd say like building models he or she one of them videos dukes of hazards oh, all videos I'll be able to sell all of them at the market a few dollars on them or a dollar fifty whatnot there we go so that was that one did you see the mouse as well i heard you talking about <laughs> yeah he's um sort of a bit decayed in there see it in the red thing oh, all right so we've got the old anko kmart 12 piece dinner set either we've got a friend who's just starting out a new place so we might give it to them or the new op shop that or not the op shop the company that we've um, decided to donate all our bits to oh, they're cute and so we're getting down the back there we haven't got much more to go which is good i'm looking forward to seeing these cupboards and things though that's awesome yeah, another box let's see what's in it Every time you do this, it's like Christmas because you just don't know what you're going to get. Oh my goodness. Oops, a sticky tape. Say that. Do you happen to have a Stanley knife, John? Oh, hang on. I will have one. Yeah. <laughs> Termination gets you every time. Oh, that's a nice vase. I can't really see what's in there and these look like the legs to something, I'm not quite sure what. Okay, right, I think. Oh my gosh, this looks like it's all photo frames and things like that and I'm not sure what that is but... There is another lamp, I can't quite get to it. We're getting down to the back of things. There's not much more in this tiny little box. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you before. This has got a little box attached to it and it's actually locked. So that'll be a nice surprise when we get home. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of toys. Oh, what's that? Huh, printer. Um, yeah. The bits, all right. It says kitchen, <laughs> but this was the box I was talking about. It's got a little box attached to it, but it has a lock, so we'll get it home and see how we go. All right, well, won't worry about that one. It says kitchen, or should we? Something electronic in there. Oh, okay. But let's have a look at this thing, okay, shall we? Flick it over. If I can open it, that is. Hopefully it's not locked. Have a quick look. I was just going to have a quick look and see what was in it. Gosh. It's all broken. It's probably books or something. I'm boring. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh. It's not books. There you go. So what's that? Oh, cool. Hang on, but it says something else. Christmas light note. I don't know. Let's have a look inside just in case. It's a UFC fighting thing. Actually, I don't know if this is open or not. Oh, cool. 
John. And these are all metal, like die cast. <laughs> John used to ride, so he'll like that one. John. Cool. Oh, one it is an R1. A few cars in here. Oh, this is great. Obviously was a, um, like building model cars. But yeah, oh, just broke something. Oops. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. That is awesome. What have we got? A Ford, no wheels. Another Ford. But I found a whole heap of parts, so they could all be in there. Oh, and there's some jewellery. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so we got this one out. It's quite heavy. It's actually it's, it's actually cute, but it's um a bit damaged. So I'm gonna all I have to do is just sand that back and stain it, and then paint that, and it'll look fantastic. And I'll be able to sell it for a hundred dollars. What else have we got with? Go through that one, in that one I found the spray kit. That one looks more like personal stuff, clothing, and something that I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, it's a hook. Oh, all the, that's all right, all the little handles are in there too, the ones that are missing. That one I can't open because it's got no handles. <laughs> I think it's just all clothes and oh, glitter, a few other bits and pieces, looks like clothing. Anyway, John's going to move it out <laughs> so I can have a better look. So we've finally got it out, let's have a look what's in the other ones. There's got to be something good. So heavy. That one's just got, yeah, we'll check personal. personal stuff, yeah. yeah. That one's got no handle. Looks like just clothes, clothing. Clothes. Okay. So it's all just heavy clothes. Mm. But that doesn't mean we, there's not something wrapped in those clothes. Look what I just found wrapped in clothes. All those cars. That's just one of those little manicure type sets and a pension card, so you don't want to show that. Yeah, no, we'll hand that back. But it's getting there, getting there. There's not much more to go, which is good because we've got a football game to go to as well. <laughs> But that one we can't open because it's got a lock on it. And what have we got in here? That looks like it might be some sort of oven, heater oven thing. Anyway, I'll get it out and show you. There you go, it was a wireless active Samsung subwoofer. So we'll check that when we get home, test it out, see how it goes. And anything extra I do find that we didn't show you in the first part of the video, definitely show you in the second part. Okay, so this one's just got toys and oh, an empty money box. Toys. Oh, Benny Kids. They tend to sell. Yeah, it's mostly just toys. What's this one? Same thing, more toys. And a printer. And more toys, I think. Yep. This was obviously the kids' toy hutch. Cabin. Oh, that's cute. Little toy cabin. Anyway, so that's that. Let's check out the fridge. Whoa, that's a bit stinky. Oh, yuck. The smell of it. Rotting fridge. There's nothing like it. The bottom I can't even open, so we might just leave it at that, I think. This one I'm not going to bother getting it out of. It's just a bit messy and it's like it's all kids toys and fairy lights and things like that so I'll just leave that one for now and we'll go through it a bit more later oh, hang on a minute. I don't know it's not what I thought it was but yeah the rest is just kids toys and one box up there and this mystery box so we can't open it yet we'll open that one when we get home okay, okay there we go just all their bits left now their personal stuff apart from that that's to go in, and this one, I still haven't got it open yet, but we will, and we will show you. It's probably just full of toys, but it's locked, so that's highly suspicious. 
this one I'm going to repaint and restain. It will look amazing when it's done. Okay, so it's all packed up, ready to go. John's locking up the truck and we will get home, go through it and we will show you exactly what we found. Anyway, if you're liking what you see, please press the like button. And if you think you know anyone who might like what we're doing, please share it. That would be greatly appreciated. But for now, thanks for watching. Okay, set the stand up. Have the lid to the pineapple. Rest of the pineapple container. Just little trinkets. Ooh, just one. My first tooth. Oh my God, I hope there's nothing in there. I think they've discovered it's not the best idea to keep them. Maybe pewter. Kind of cool. We saw. We have some letters. Probably spelled out the kid's name. Birthday card. We've got a few extra personal things. They can go back. Probably send those letters back as well. Ooh, this looks like something we've been looking for. This looks like a DS charger. We have a few DS's, but we have one with a charger missing. Fantastic. Don't need to look at that. We have a... Ah, broken ears. Rubbish. Cute little angel. Turn it like that. This one. It appears to be the rest of the thing should be clothing. That'll be donate. Strange little jar with a couple of battery operated cameras in it. Oh, more Pokemon stuff. Building up a fair Pokemon collection, we should do something with it. Yeah, some books. Oh, some more of them. Oh, Captain Underpants. Daniel used to read them. More Pokemon. Get Chloe and Arden to look into those for us. They're our resident experts. Get the little cushion. Hopefully, it won't fall. Okay. This is Super Mario. I assume lights up. Back. There seems to be a little bit of a theme here. It's either Captain Underpants or Pokemon. Ooh. I'm thinking that's gold. Hopefully real. We actually have a... Um, let's see if I can get a good shot of it. We have a gold te testing kit, so we can... Um, Run a little bit of that and see if it's drill, but that's a pretty cool find. It's open, but it hasn't been actually peeled open. I've just made it worse. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Call Jenny out and show her that one. Hmm. Little fairy thing. Would have lit up at one stage, I imagine. Pretty cool. Oh. 
do the old DVD player, portable. Um, don't really ever try to sell these, we just tend to donate them. There's another bear with personal stuff on it, that'll go back also. Trophy with absolutely nothing on it, that'll be thrown out. Is it Bratz? Not sure. Little alarm clock. Used to love that sound. Nope. Oh, we seem to have more. That's pretty cool. There's a little fairy or angel thing. That's, yeah, that looks nice. Another one, another one for Jen to check for me. Another cool one, I assume it stands up on the tail. Hopefully that's hopefully a good shot of that. We've got some interesting things in this small little locker. Yep. Okay. I don't think that's any valuable sure, but Jen says to sell these things quite quickly at the market. This one, I won't look into too much. It looks like a lot of personal stuff it is, so that will all go back, um, make sure they get that. Like a pageant ribbon. Same deal, we'll just give these back. They'll mean more to them than they will to us. Once again, a little trophy, child of the year. Can also go back. Another one child of the year. Once again, that will go back. Even though it was mobile, it's back here as well. We've taken the battery out, whether we have that, who knows. These things sell quite well. People seem to like picking them up, whether it's for parts or not. Who knows? Pencil case. Once again, there's a Pokemon theme. Ooh! All just Pokemon cards, looks like. Hopefully I'm showing that well. I can't see a thing. There's a camera in a stand. That'll all need to be researched, once again. Have to look into them, but some of these Pokemon cards are, have absolutely ridiculous value. I have no idea what that thing is meant to be. Seems to be a few of those sort of characters. There's a few just crappy stuff toys. A couple of books. A lot of these will just be donated. Oh, 
possibly a personal closet. I will not show that one, that's more personal stuff. That pretty much wraps it up for this little locker. I'll try and unclip this camera. There we go. There's not a great deal more in it. It's just um, a bit of rubbish, kids studies. Charger, no idea what those things are supposed to be. But yeah, there's not really a, a great deal in it. There's the battery for the phone. It actually hasn't puffed up when they get all blown up and chunky they're um they're blown they're no good this one actually feels really good and they've taken it out maybe to make sure it doesn't go off a couple more ribbons they'll go back toys um, i have no idea about them jen knows better than i do with the toys but they'll possibly just be donated okay that's kind of a wrap up uh the rest of the stuff we're going to pull these big things off and then we'll go through some of the other stuff from yesterday in a bit more detail and we'll probably put it together rather than showing us going through each individual boring and very dirty box some of them are horrible so yes um we'll wrap it up at here at this stage and i'll get a few of these big things out of the way and um we'll be back okay i'm back again everybody and I've laid out all the cars that we found in that locker and I've researched a little bit to give you an idea of how much they're all worth. Now yeah, I'll just show you all the bits. So these one this one had all the engines and you can get they all range in price. Um what else have we got? Are there are other parts for cars. Um some of them aren't complete, so obviously this guy was a Bit of, did it as a bit of a hobby um okay so i'll just let you give you a rough idea oh and then there is the that's sort of like the underneath of the cars so the ones that i've obviously got here that have no underneath are um must be in the box there anyway that was leo our cockatoo i'm sure he'll poke his head in <laughs> okay so i'll get my little book with all the prices on it leo Okay, so we've got, there he goes, <laughs> Leo, that purple race car there. Now, it's not complete. It's actually complete apart from wheels, and they are about $100. Same with this one. This one will probably get about $100. That Ford over there, the same thing, roughly $150, actually. Sorry, these two. Now, that one, I think, was about 100 General Lee was $285 complete, but it's not quite complete and it's falling apart. But its motor might be in one of the drawers. This blue and white one's pretty cool. It's um, pretty old, too. You can see that at the front there. It's um, probably about $80, just the actual body. Motorbike, that one's around 30 and then you've got the oil pump that one was 25 it was about 285 dollars that one then you've got the holden on the trailer and they're 300 dollars for the two of them together now we're getting into the good ones because these ones are the complete ones so they're worth a bit more money now this one the 1986 holden is 1986 Honf Holden is $850 brand new. Well, obviously it's pre-owned, so I probably wouldn't get that much. But even if I got 600, that's a bonus. Uh, then at the back there, we've got the Cougar Eliminator, 1970. It is worth about $200 because its box isn't that great. But I might get around 250. You never know. Then we've got the XY Falcon. That one is, now I'm getting all my prices off eBay, eBay too, so just so you know where they're coming from. Uh, the XY Falcon is worth around 250 The Chevy Bel Air, oh, I love this one, I think this is so cool. Can't really see it because it's in its box, but that one's a really cool car. That's worth about $300. Okay, now we're getting into the good ones. Now, this 1985 Commodore, if it was complete, 
It's worth about $700 brand new, but this one's falling apart. Um, I think the guy used to like pulling them apart. I don't, I'm not sure. But this one, this is the special one. This is a Peter Brock. Um, sorry, I'll just get the bird out of the way. 1985 VK Holden Commodore. And pre-owned, they are worth $1,155. So I'm pretty happy with that one. But anyway, I've got a massive collection of cars here. And I think the ones that are complete, I'll sell individually. The ones that are not complete, I'll put together as a package and I'll just put it out on Marketplace as un um, incomplete projects. But yeah, not bad for that locker. Uh, I didn't think there'd be this many cars. I didn't see this many until we got home and started unwrapping everything and it was just like, wow. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching Jen's Fabulous Finds and myself and Leo. Hope you enjoy watching and if you do, if you could please press that like button and also Leo's dancing for me. Go Leo, go. Go Leo, go. <laughs> That's it. Press the like button and if you could share it with people you who may also like this kind of thing, it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Say goodbye, Leo. Say goodbye. No, he's gone shy. Okay, bye.